Hi guys, it's Aji. So finally, this is part 2 of the video. I realized na sobrang pangit ng format ng last video na yon. Pero hindi ko na siya kayang i-film ulit. Kasi ang sakit! Tulalamunan ko! But anyway, I hope you guys liked the last video. I know the format is kind of messy. And I know na hindi ako nakapagsalita ng masyadong matino doon. Like, I'm, not prob I'm probably not making sense even right now. Pero... Yeah, um, for this video, I'm going to show you guys my recommendations for setting sprays, highlighters, and lippies. Different kinds of lippies. Siguro nagtataka kayo bakit ko hinate yung video into videos, pero kasi I talk a lot. And if I included this part in that video, siguro mga isang oras kayo manonood. <laughs> It's going to be hard for you. It's going to be hard for me. So just for everyone else's convenience, I edited it into two parts. Ayan, um, I hope you guys aren't too bothered. <laughs> but yeah, um, enough chit chat. If you guys want to watch the second part of affordable makeup product recommendations for beginners, then just keep watching. I'm sorry that the last video cut off after the contour blush and bronzer. Um, I was watching the film and it was taking too long. As you can see, I already did the parts of my face that I did from the last video. For eyeshadow, I played around with my new Colourpop palette, but that's beside the point. Anyway, to start the video, let's go for setting sprays. So for setting sprays, you don't really need an expensive one unless you really want to go out and have your makeup stay on for way, way, way too long. If you're using setting spray to set the powders on your face, then I really would suggest just taking a small um, spray like this. Um, ito yung Ferra Matte Finishing Spray. Naubos ko na siya. And what I did was put a little bit of cold water. And that's it! <laughs> I've heard of other professional makeup artists on TikTok say that this will do you good. It's not necessarily going to make your makeup stay on like for so long, but it's good for setting the powders on the face. Tong dalawa bike como, I believe these are around 180 something or 200 plus. Pero for that, you will get maybe, I think 150 or 100 ml to ng setting spray. And yung gusto ko dito sa mga sprays na to is that super fine ng nilalabas niyang mist so you won't end up having like droplets of water on your face. I'll be using this rose setting spray kasi gusto ko niya. And Ayan. As in, ganyan na siya. Pang set lang talaga siya ng mga uh, powder sa face para hindi siya mukhang yung sobrang natuto yung matte. For me, because talagang nagpa-powder ako ng buong mukha, I find that setting sprays are essential to my makeup routine. But as a beginner, I'm not saying that you have to. It's just that if you have a little bit of extra budget, you should try and go buy some of these. If not, just stay with like cold water on a spray. It's fine. It really is. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to recommend to you guys some highlighters. And for highlighters, these are mostly yellow. <laughs> Starting off with the Pink Flash highlighter. I like this. This is around like 62, 60 plus. This is sheer and buildable. Ito naman, yung maganda sa kanyas, hindi siya yung glittery na shimmer. Like legit na as in super fine ng mga shimmers niya. Kaya hindi mukhang chunky. Yun yun no. Ayan, maganda siya. And it's a sheer yellow color. So, of course, for warm skin tone girlies, um, this is going to be your best bet for like a really affordable highlighter. Alam ko mukha siyang maliit, but like, it will really last you long. Hindi mo kailangan na masyadong marami for highlighter kasi hindi na naman masyadong marami yung ginagamit mo. Ito! Ayan, hindi siya blush. I know sinabi ko dati na ito yung lamela brush, but... Uh, yung laman niya is yung EB na highlighter. This is the real picture. And what happened was, on the day of filming, I dropped it. So, ayun, naturally, since resourceful ako and I don't want to waste anything, I put it in a pot like this. Para magamit ko pa rin siya. Sobrang dami na neto, I swear. Here is a swatch. 
very similar sila nung pink flash one, pero ito mas matingkad and mas yellow siya. 200 something plus ata siya on drugstores. I don't exactly know how much siya sa Shopee, but just I'll put the links down below so you guys can check it out. Next, I also have this one by Hebes. This is their Skin Brightening Highlighter Powder. May kasama na siyang mirror. And this is how it looks like. It has a, yung tinatawag nilang texture na parang mashed potato na if you press it really hard, it will move. But anyway, to show you guys some swatches, ganyan siya. As you can see, also very, very yellow. So, medyo kalat-kalat yung pagiging shiny niya, but it still works. And for the packaging, I would recommend that you guys buy it if you're looking for a yellow tone the highlighter. Lastly, the second most expensive um, is this Hojo highlighter. But if you ask me, this is gonna be the most worth it. Kasi ang ganda ng packaging niya. It endorses itself as a champagne gold color. And if you can see it right here, ayan, mukhang, mukhang nga talaga siyang champagne -ish gold. But if you swatch it, honestly, it's more silvery pink. Wala naman akong angal dito. It's a good item to have for beginners who do really, really glam makeup. Kasi ito sobrang pak. Blinding. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to beginners. Like, you really beginners. For beginners, I would recommend that you stick with the key best one or the pink flash one. Kasi sila yung pinaka sheer. Tsaka mas madali silang i-build up. Anyway, that's it for highlighters. And for highlighters to really just show you guys the effect i'm going to use this one by pink flash so this is the effect of the highlighter as you can see super ganda niya Ayan, no? if you really want to chew just use your finger and just tap it once and spread the highlighter all over your cheekbone but i want it kind of intense so i did one dip per stroke i'm going to talk about lashes so, for lashes, uh, you really can't go wrong with Shopee lashes. Like, karamihan sa kanila maganda. This, for example, is the Ding San one. If you're, if you're a beginner doing glam looks, I would recommend this one. This is the Ding San something something style 3. So five pairs siya ng lashes. And I believe I got this for around 60 plus pesos. Super ganda niya. Ginamit ko na to sa morena look ko. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me every time I wear this falsy. Ate, ang ganda ng falsy mo. What, what are your falsies? And this is probably it. But also something that you guys really seem to like. These falsies. Huwag niyong pansinin yung andito sa gitna. Kasi... Um, parang random lashes lang yun na dinit ko dito sa pack. But these are um, unbranded falsies rin. Hindi siya exactly dingsen, but you can find it on Shopee. These are really, really good. Mahaba siya, pa crisscross yung style ng um, lashes ng mga buhok. So they look really natural. Hindi sila yung masyadong uniform na fake tignan. Of course, they don't look real either. Pero yung Pagkakaayo sa lashes makes it look a lot more approachable. So for beginners, I would recommend this one. Next, something also for super glam beginners. Um, I would recommend these. These are the Faye Beauty lashes. Ito, may different styles sila. For 90 pesos, you will get 5 pairs already. So ayan. Super, super ganda nila for like glam looks. But the most approachable, I guess, the most beginner friendly lashes that I can recommend are these ones from Mikiwi. Actually, any lash from Mikiwi is very good. But most especially this, because this is my favorite style. Ito, para siyang shorter version neto, wherein the lashes are in a kind of crisscross style. Tapos kapag nilagay mo siya on your eyes, they almost look like spikes. They mimic um, lashes na may mascara to spring nest together. So they're super nice. Invisible yung band niya. So kahit na hindi ka mag eyeliner, it's going to be just okay. I actually don't know what I want to go with. Maybe these ones, maybe these ones, maybe this one. <laughs> but yeah. I'll be right back. So, I ended up putting on yung lashes from the green case. Yung unbranded one. But now, let's move on to the final part of this video. 
again, it's kind of like the lashes on Shopee where you can't really go wrong on anything because sobrang mura nila. Um, but if you do want recommendations, what I can recommend you are velvet lipsticks because they're my favorite kind of formula. They're really popular on Shopee right now. So the first one that I can recommend is of course the Faux Color Lip Clay one. I won't be trying these on. If you want to see how they look like, I have a video right here. Just make sure to check it out. These are what they look like. My favorite shades are 105 and 301. 105 is kind of like a nude red-brown. And 301 is like a proper red-brown. Super pigmented niya. Um, next are these O2O Velvet Lip Mud. Yan yan. Maliit lang siya. I think medyo mura lang rin siya. And they also have a bundle deal. My favorite shade is 06 Trap. Kasi parang brownish siya. <laughs> Again, brown. I think for beginners, you should really try to go for nude browns or um, very soft reds. All of the lipsticks that I can recommend does have an extensive range of shades, so you can probably pick what you think will look best on you. Next lipstick that I can recommend is this one by Focolure. Again, ito yung Super Velvet nila. Itong formula nila for their lipsticks is so, so much better. Mas pigmented siya, hindi siya kasi muted. The color that I have right now is 103, and this one is a kind of brownish nude what I like to layer on top of it for like a gradient lip effect is 401 which is a proper again brown 103 and 401 good shades I can't really recommend any matte lipstick na super affordable on Shopee because I don't play with matte lipsticks a lot um, most of them I don't really like the formula but if you do want something affordable, this is the Super Velvet and Smooth O2O Honey Whisper Lipsticks. Yung problema dito, karamihan ng shades nila eh mga nudes. Uh, may mga bright colors sila, pero it's like really super bright. Um, mukha silang muted because of the packaging, because of the matte packaging. But if you open it up, like that's a really bright orange. <laughs> yeah, I also have a video for this. You can click it right here. Uh, it doesn't actually dry down matte. Medyo may pagka glossy sila. So I guess that's the velvet effect that they're talking about. Pero they don't feel like the velvet of these ones. Velvet lang siya in a sense na smooth siya sa lips and it's non-drying. Um, if you're looking for more expensive or more high quality na um, lipsticks, I would recommend checking out Colorette. They have matte lipsticks that are absolutely non-drying. They feel good on the lips, very lightweight, also very pigmented, and I really like it. They're multi-use, so you can use them for your lips, cheeks, and eyes. So, ayan, super sulit. Ganda nito. Medyo mahal lang siya. It's 300. But if you check them out during their sale, uh, during sale season, they usually have mga 50% off deals or buy one take one deals that make them super affordable. So you should definitely, definitely cop one. Ito yung marara ko medyo na kahit medyo mahal, I feel is super worth it. Like honestly, I'm surprised na hindi pa to mas mahal considering the quality of it. So. Yeah. Next naman, if you're not into velvets or you're not into mattes and you're more into glosses, then I also have recommendations for you. This one by Pink Flash. This is 60 something pesos. Hindi siya super super glossy, but that's what happens if hindi siya masyadong makapal. Pero that's how it swatches. That's the shine of a thin layer. Medyo mas comfortable siya on the lips rather than the other glosses that I recommend. But anyway, yeah. This is what I recommend for beginners. Um, also, another recommendation is this one by Stay Genius. I have the shade 01 Moonstruck and this is a brown. Ito amoy chocolate siya. Legit, sobrang nakaka-addict. And it has a doe foot applicator. If you swatch it, ito yung itsura niya. Ayan. It's a chunky kind of gloss kasi may mga glitter siyang kasama. I can also recommend the Full Color Plump Max. I already have a video of it right here so I won't show it. Those lip glosses are also super good. Hindi masyado malakas yung plumping effect nila but they do have one. Looking back at it now, now that I've experienced other lip glosses, medyo makapal nga siya, medyo madikit. So, yeah. Um, but they're very affordable. Um... For beginners, maganda yung clear gloss nila. 
The next lip gloss that I can recommend is this one by Key Best. Marami silang shade, I think 9 or 6 yung available na shades nila ng um, lip gloss na to. It's very similar to the Focaler Plump Max. May slight plumping effect siya. This is how it looks like. May flat siyang applicator. And if you swatch it, ayan, ayan o, kita nyo. Madikit siya, pero it's actually like super, super pigmented. And maganda rin yung gloss effect niya. Like, Super, super kinang. <laughs> Next, I can't really recommend this, pero ginagamit ko kasi siya. So, it feels like it's proper to add it in the video. This is the Capovini Tinted Lip Gloss. And ito naman, nagsistain siya. Sheer lang siya. Honestly, it doesn't have that much gloss to it. It acts more like a lip tint rather than a gloss. Pag winipe ko siya, kita nyo, may mga stain siya na iiwan. So, if you're after lip stains, ganyan, maybe check this out. But anyway, for this video, I'm going to do the lip that I've been really, really obsessed with. And if you watched my last video, you'll know what it is. Um, I line my lips with this Novo Lip Liner. And then I apply the Key Best Lip Gloss. And then I layer this Capuvini one on the inside for a gradient lip effect. So I'm going to do my lips off cam and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. Um, as you can see, this is how the lips turned out. I'm so obsessed! I'm so obsessed. Ang ganda niya. Ang ganda ng combination. I'm just... Uh, I'm so happy. I, I... Perhaps this is the lip combo that I'm going to wear forever. Hindi natin alam, but... <laughs> I'm really happy with it. But yeah, these are the things that I feel like can help you as a beginner to build your makeup bag or your makeup collection. Because honestly, like, you don't really need super expensive stuff to start off, like, to start your makeup journey. Because <laughs> believe me when I say na, um, I made that mistake. Nung nag start ako mag makeup, sabi ko, ay kailangan Maybelline lahat ng gamit ko. Even though, like, I, I really can't afford it as a student. Sobrang, like, I even bought the fucking James Charles X Morphe palette. And do I use it now? No, I don't. So, ayun. Like, you can really find a lot of stuff on Shopee. Or even stuff from local brand like Everbilena that will last you for a really, really long time. Really high quality. And you really don't have to break your bank for it. Katulad na lang nito, tong tong lipstick na to, super super affordable na lang lahat. Um, lahat ng ginamit ko dito is below 100 pesos, like for the lips, di ba? So ayon. I hope you guys like this. I know na magiging super haba ng video na to, but <laughs> who cares? I just really want to help you guys and stress to you guys na hindi mo kailangan talaga ng gumasas ng sobrang rame just to enjoy doing makeup, much like. I do, you know, um, Shopee is going to be your best friend if you're looking for affordable makeup products. Yun lang naman, yun lang, yun lang talaga yung comment ko. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. And if you want to keep seeing content like this, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, comment down below if you have any questions regarding the items. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!